this is obviously affecting you a great deal. With some of the comments you made too, I, I have to ask a question. You used an interesting word in there. Do you think the NDP government is defrauding Manitobans by what they're doing? I'm here. I'm concerned about the pro provincial sales tax increase. Who put you above the law, Mr. Selinger? Since when have we become banana republic? According to a recent analysis by the Fraser Institute, the PST hike that the provincial government is proposing will also result in a reduction in jobs and income growth. We've been overtaxed for too many years. We can't afford to pay for your, uh, your pet projects, your, your waste of money, your buying votes, your this, your this, your this. We just can't do it anymore. We're broke. We, the people, have a legal right to a referendum on this tax increase. It was put in place by a government that had to clean up the previous NDP mess. Unfortunately, they did not foresee a rogue, a rogue government so hungry for money after hitting its borrowing limit, it would turn to steal from its citizens the only right they have to defend themselves from a rogue government. Either I take my kids out of hockey this winter or I move them to a school closer to their grandparents' place. She's 70 years old and she's going to have to walk them every morning and pick them up at lunch across Region Avenue. So that's my solution is either take them out of hockey and ring it or change schools because you guys cannot balance anything. 100 bucks, I could send you to McDonald's and you guys, three people would go, you guys would have no money. You'd be phoning me, do you have an extra 10 bucks? We overran at the till here. I used to vote for NDP. That man right there, Gary Doerr, he was a good friend. But I take a look and I see the people who are now running the NDP. I'm not friends. Liars, cheats, don't hold up to what they're supposed to be doing. Leaning on the taxpayer, Gary, he went and he was with for the working man. The only thing you want from the working man is our money. To any more tax increases or user fees, for that matter, from this provincial government. I feel it's to the point where I just like to give them 100% of my paycheck and just give me an allowance so I can afford to eat and live in my home. Because that's what it's coming to. I'll say it again. You're addicted to money. I really believe that the governments are addicted to money. As per the definition I pulled off the internet, you're looking for a short-term reward and don't care about the long-term consequences. And as with all addictions, the cure has to come within yourself. Your addiction, though, I have to say, is harder to stop than anybody else because taxpayers are the enablers. And you have control over us. We're enabling you. That includes capital goods, machinery, equipment, and new technologies, materials, energy, and other goods or services that are Altona and area entrepreneurs. I'm a guy whose grandfather, both grandfathers, fought in the First World War. My dad fought in the Second World War. They fought for democracy, the right to retain the opportunity to vote. They're unilaterally taking that away that you can run roughshod over the people that elected you. Section 10, subsection 1 of the Balanced Budget Fiscal Management and Taxpayer Protection Act, you are clearly violating a standing law. You are to subject it to a referendum, yet you bullhorn your way like a bull in a china shop with no concern.
Uh, this increase will take an inevitable toll on the everyday lives of young people such as myself who make low salaries within the province. Uh, well, younger families as well re will receive the aforementioned uh, subsidy on many items uh, that will aid them in child rearing. I must point out this fact that um, we as the next generation to inherit uh, the reins in the province, we face a bleak future in Manitoba. I represent the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce, 2050 companies, small, medium, large, all different sectors, including not-for-profit sectors. 90,000 employees, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, community leaders, are all found within our membership, and I can't tell you in my 14 years of the Chamber a single issue that has mobilized and crystallized my membership in opposition like this one has. I've got cancer, so I'm not working right now. I've been off work for about six, seven months. This 1% increase, you think about it, it's not a lot of money, it's only pennies a day sort of thing, but it's gonna put me behind the eight ball and I'm not gonna be able to feed myself like I should be able to. I stand here not with any hope of reversing the NDP way. I do not in any way believe that this will make a difference. I stand here anyway for my children, for my children's children. I want them to know that if one sits idly by, this is what you receive. If you do not fight for your rights, they will be taken away. What can you say to your children and your children's children, NDP. Your defining moment was to take their legal right away to a vote. Congratulations on that.